Hello, this is Snooker Pro Tips. This is the second instalment of the clip that was asked for by Chris Pedersen uh, from Canada regarding pink to yellow. Uh, the setup's the same as I, I did before. I've just got pink on the spot there. The blue is normally a danger ball when this is in, so we, we've got the blue on the spot. And we've also got the yellow on the spot over there. Now, what Chris has asked is that how, how do we get from the pink to the yellow? Normally, it's black to black to yellow or blue to yellow but there again there are odd occasions where we need to use the pink instead of those two colours and that's what this clip is all about uh, so this is the second clip in the little series uh, and what I've got there again it's dead straight and obviously I've covered dead straight in the first clip so now what we've got is we're going slightly the other way so what we've got now is a three quarter pink to the corner pocket and then we're going to get to the, the yellow Again, as I said in the first clip, there are variations. People will play it in different ways uh, and have their own way of playing these things. But again, it also depends on where the balls actually are on the table. Now, what you can do with this is you can play it two ways. You can either run it through. Like that. As you can see, I've plotted that. The white's on its way down there to the yellow. You could play it that way if you like. Again, the only danger with that is if you get into it too much that you could actually can in the black because it's, it's forced its way towards the black. Or you can can in the blue if you get a little bit of unwanted side on the way back up. But it can be played that way. So again, now we go to the three quarter again. And what you can also do is just go slightly lower on the white. So is what we have to do is throw it a little bit wider. So it comes there, side cushion, and then down for the yellow. This one we need it with just that much, bit more pace. Just add a little bit of side on there as well, just to help it. The only trouble with that is that we end up close to the side cushion. So if I was recommending you to to practice a particular shot there, it would be play the one with top rather than that one there. So now what we've actually got is the off ball pink. Again, it's on the right hand side of the table so it can reach. And this one isn't that difficult to play, but it just wants that, just that little bit of care, a little bit of practice. And all it is, is 11 o'clock on the white, nice and smooth, and again we're going to go top, side, and down to the yellow. The important thing is to pop the pink. See that one top side, a little bit of side on it just to wrap it round, and then you see the white going on to the yellow. The final one of the four, obviously, is the quarter ball. And for this more than likely, unless you're really tall, then what we'll need is the rest. And this is probably the simplest one of all. The only difficulty is that you're actually using the rest. Because it, all it is is plain ball striking. It's a natural angle, say, to pop the pink into the corner. The white then comes round off the top side down towards the yellow. So again, just concentrate on the pink. Keep it nice and smooth. As you can see, I've missed the pink. I am sort of in the vicinity. So although I've missed the pink, you can see I'm on the yellow. I'll put it on once more. Make sure I pop the pink. I know there's a load of people ready to comment out there, say, oh, you've missed the pink. So what I'll do is I'll put it on again. If I miss the pink again, I'm not doing it again. So it's the quarter ball. Again, keep it nice and simple. Got it this time. Just run it in, and as you can see there, the white now is coming down for the yellow. Obviously now, the problem we've got is that we've got two sides to a snooker table, as in the first clip. And again, this is where I don't think Chris quite realised the hard work he was going to make me do. So again, dead straight. We're going to go off in the middle pocket so we know what dead straight's all about. So now we move to three quarters. And this, this now becomes a little bit more trickier. 
because we've got to use the rest obviously. So now, the trick to this is to really stun it in. You can see now I've stunned that in, the white's coming around, I'm nowhere near or enough, but you can see there now I'm actually, if it comes inside the blue, then I am actually going to get onto that yellow. The other way of playing that, which is probably a more safer way of playing it, is just to run it in. So I'll put the pink back on again. And go three quarter ball. Again, it's your own particular preference. That's the most important thing with snooker, that you're comfortable with the shots that you're going to play. So as you can see now, I've got three quarter ball. I'm going to run it in this time. Missed the yellow, uh, sorry, missed the pink. But you see now that the white is actually coming down towards the yellow. You must f forgive me for missing the pink with the rest. But I'm trying to get the clip done as quickly as I can and talk at the same time. So you are actually getting the gist of it all. The next one we're going to do is the off ball. And again, this is one where... Most players will probably run it in, but actually the correct shot to play actually is to stun it in. It's more positive, it's more confident, and there's also just that little bit of confidence that you can pop, pop this ball nice and comfortably. Come round off two cushions, so it comes off the back cushion, side cushion, doesn't require any side. Again, just a stun shot. Nice and easy, nice and relaxed, nice and smooth. See there now, I've pushed that. I'm out of just coming inside the blue. You see there, I'm just coming inside the blue. If you get into it well enough, you will come outside the blue. I've come inside the blue there. Uh, but if you get into it nicely, you'll go outside the blue as well. And you see there, I've got another shot at the yellow into the corner. So that's a stun shot with the off ball that way. The final one, obviously, again, is the quarter. This one's a little bit more tricky, again, because it's a quarter ball. You could play two ways again. You could play plain if you want to, just to keep it simple. Or you could just put a tracer side on it, which I'm going to try and do with this one. So we want one o'clock on the white. Again, make sure you're concentrating on the, on the pink. And you see now again, I've come inside the blue, which is where it should come. You see there, it's coming round nicely for the yellow again. A little bit harder required, so I get nicely on the yellow and into the corner. And basically, that's yellow to pink. Uh, there's one more clip on the way, because obviously we can come the other way with the pink. So, it's Super Pro Tips. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Again, any comments, please leave them. Uh, I'm trying to answer as many uh, questions as I can. Uh, the only trouble is YouTube keeps changing the messaging and all the rest of it, so I have a job sometimes read the messages or reply to the messages. Uh, so please be patient. I will try and get back to you as quickly as I can. Uh, hope you enjoy the, uh, the clip, Chris. I uh, hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.